Now to the tragic developments over the weekend surrounding this 13-year-old Madeline Soto. Authorities confirmed her body was found four days after she was reported missing by her mother. The discovery was made Friday in a remote area off of Hickory Tree Road near Pearl Lake West of US 192. This morning, the big question is what will come next for this man, her mother's boyfriend, the prime suspect now in the case. Our Ezzy Castro is following the latest, and Ezzy, so far, there have been no new charges against him. Nothing new just yet, Bridget. The only new thing that we know is that Stefan Soto was actually moved from the Orange County Jail to here, to the Osceola County Jail. But so far, investigators say Stearns has not cooperated with the investigation. Stephen Stearns or Stephens? Your Honor, at this time, I am going to waive Mr. Stearns appearance. I'm also going to waive the reading of these charges. Mr. Stearns is aware of what he's been arrested for. Stephen Stearns was a no show in court Saturday morning, hours after the body of 13 year old Madeline Soto was found in Osceola County. Stephon Stearns was transported, transported from the Orange County Jail to the Osceola County Jail, where he is being held on capital sexual battery charges filed by the Kissimmee Police Detectives. Investigators are calling Stearns a prime suspect in Madeline's disappearance and say he never dropped her off near her school in Hunter's Creek, which is what they initially had said when she was reported missing last Monday. We believe she was already dead at the time and that Stephen Stearns moved her body in the early morning hours on that day. Meantime, dozens gathered Friday night to honor the 13 year old whose life was taken too soon. I'm a dad of a 15 year old. It's heartbreaking and saddening to kind of see this happening. Um, the children are supposed to be protected. Um, and unfortunately, in this case, she was exposed. We're told by the school district that grief counselors are available for both students and staff members who are dealing with this tragedy. Now we did learn that there is a GoFundMe page for Madeline's funeral costs. I checked this morning over $10,000 has been raised so far. Live outside the Osceola County Jail, Ezzy Castro, getting results in six.